Hey everybody, Jimmy Rainsford here and I'm at Drumio and I just want to share a tip on how to make your drum fills uh, better, sound better, sound more fluent, uh, make them easier on, on you to play. Uh, it's just a quick tip and it's basically um, using your feet, you know, your foot is there for a reason um, and it can help the, the fluidness of your, of your fills, it can also make them sound a lot beefier, make them sound um, a lot more accurate. Um, and I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. So I'm going to play a standard fill that everybody knows along to a groove and then we'll substitute the bass drum for certain notes. So check it out, just with my hands. Okay, as you can hear, six notes on each drum going around from the snare and each, each tom inside a groove. Uh, that sounds good and it's, um, everyone can really understand that fill. But let's just, uh, let's just make it a bit more fluid by using the bass drum. So what I would suggest is in this certain fill, this can be applied to every fill, but for this certain fill let's take the, the last two notes uh, of each six on each drum and replace it with two bass drums. So let me do it really, really slowly, what I mean. Okay, now let's play that in a groove. Do it again. That's a great tip that you can apply to any drum fill just to make it more fluid, make it sound a bit beefier, using every drum, using your feet so you're not, you're not um, stressing your hands out too much and um, it can really be applied to any fill. So let me do a few other fills using the same kind of concept. Let's do a fill that everybody knows to a groove. Okay, four on each drum. Now let's apply the same idea and let's replace uh, the last two beats on every drum with a bass drum, so like this. Really fast. So um, here's another example of a common fill that a lot of drummers would use. Um, just applying one bass from this time. So let's just play the fill just on the hands to a groove. Um, so on this fill, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the last note of every rotation of the fill with one bass drum. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Let me play the same fill. Um, again, the same idea and same concept can be applied to any sort of fill you're doing. It makes your fills fluid, makes, uh, it makes them sound a lot better freeze up some space in your hand to come down and crash. And um, yeah, it's just an all around good tip. So you can use this tip in your own drumming. Um, I'd recommend going and taking whatever fill you like playing and trying it out, you know, trying putting the bass drum in where a, a tom might be. It might make your uh, fills a bit more, um, a bit easier to you, it might make them uh, sound better for a certain situation. And um, if you like this, you can go subscribe to Drumio Edge at the link below and um, loads more content, 30 day free trial. Yeah, go check it out, thanks very much.